Hello and happy new year. I feel like I should have confetti or one of those popper things or something, but I don't. So I'll just say happy new year. It's Tuesday. Okay. I missed the first Tuesday of the new year. Sorry. It was really busy, but here I am. Um, and I wanted to talk about the blog that Berg Insurance has um, on our website. So it's berginsurance.com slash blog. And we have a monthly newsletter article basically that we send out to all the folks on our mailing list. And we also post it on our website at the aforementioned web address. And usually the first post of the new year is about your uh, new year's resolutions for community associations. And a lot of these, uh, some of these actually um, relate to individuals as well uh, with regard to insurance, of course, because that's what I talk about. So for community associations, um, the new year's resolution list is usually to check your um, your status with the secretary of state to make sure your corporate status is in fact active, which is a very important thing because if it's not active, number one, you could have um, your name stolen from you. Number two, you could have, uh, you can't really make decisions because you're not technically a corporation at that point in time. There's there's a lot of legal stuff that goes on if your corporate status has been um, revoked or inactivated. So check that out at the Secretary of State website. Um, Number two, and this applies to everyone, not just associations, take inventory of your stuff. So go around and take pictures on your phone. If you're a, a person, take pictures of your personal property. If you're a community manager or a board member at a community association, take pictures of association property. So let's say you go down to your clubhouse and you take pictures of the pool table and the library and the stuff in the kitchen. So you have a photo record of what, what you own basically, so that if something bad happens, you could go back to those photos. And hopefully if you're taking those pictures on a uh, cell phone, then those will be backed up in a cloud somewhere so that you can access them later or someone can access them later if needed. Save them in a place where you're gonna be able to find them if you need them, super helpful. Um, also, I wanted to let you know, you should have a New Year's resolution to check our blog or subscribe to our blog if you would like to. Like I said, it's just a monthly little um, email that goes out. It's not long because I know folks do not have a lot of time, especially community managers, holy moly, um, that get hundreds of emails a day. So it's just little tidbits. And this year, our resolution at Berg Insurance is for our blog to kind of take a little bit of a deeper dive into each type of insurance policy that community associations need. So the first one we um, dove into is property insurance um, because that's the one most communities usually have. No, most communities usually have. So take a look. Again, it's berginsurance.com slash blog. If you would like to subscribe, let us know and we will add you to our list. Until next time, stay safe and stay kind. Bye-bye.